Hey, what's up, guys? Geeky Khan, and this is my Moki 5.0.2 review. So I'm having the Android version 5.0.2, which is the Android Lollipop for the Redmi One S. So I have put up a video for this how to install. You can check the description below, just below the thumbs up button. You can see that we are having the Lollipop, and you get the Easter Egg function, which means that game. Yes, people have found this very hard. Yeah, for me too, it was just hard. Now, telling the review of this Moki room. Um, this is built on the CM12 room, which is done by Cyhorst, and it, all the credits goes to him. Now, what we have changed in this room is first the status bar. You have got a new status bar, which is kind of Android Lollipop 5.0 notification theme, which you get in the other devices too. Now you get a double swipe feature like once when you swipe you get the notification and again when you swipe you get the settings and here in this room when you swipe from the right you get the whole list and the features with this is that you get the cool animation stuff like when you swipe you will see that it is moving in a quite good animation and you get more options to some of these quick settings like this you get the data used and the cast screen you can directly cast to any of your device like that this is a pretty good feature I would say and the next change in this is the camera app the camera app is a kind of google camera app this is a kind of google camera and it's working good Yes, the cl camera clarity is also good and you can install the stock MIUI camera I haven't done that till now but I'll give you a link into that for the, in the description below and the next is a back app drawer so you get the white kind of uh, back drawer I'm using the google now launcher basically you get the other launcher but I found that the icons were a bit smaller so I installed this google now and Going to settings, you can just move directly from the notification bar and you get a new kind of settings. Here, you can adjust your Sianja mode theme. You also get this new smart control which you can direct call from the dialer and also direct call an MMS. And you can also use a wave blocker, and that if you want, you can do it. And the next is the notification manager. You can restrict any application which if you don't want to get the notification. And for the battery life, I'm getting a good. And I will say it's better than the MIUI camera. And in the status bar, you can adjust all the features like you can show or hide empty icons, brightness control, notification pending, and. In the apps, I'll show you now how much of the MB RAM is left. You can see that I'm running many apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, and Google Keyboard, like that. I'm having 283 MB of RAM left. I used to get 500 MB of RAM at boot. And in the performance, you can set up the processor speed. Like if you set that 1401 you will not get any uh, heating problem and in the, I'll show you the heating temperature I'm having only 44 degrees celsius and you can see my changing curve it reaches maximum only to 45 degrees celsius the CPU usage is also quite less it's only 65% and the new feature which I find in this I'm not sure whether it's a YouTube feature or the mobile feature when I go to YouTube and when you open any of the video you can adjust the video size like 360p or the 240p here in, this, in the quality settings you get all of them rather before you don't get I'm not sure whether it's a YouTube feature or not and then the next feature I find is the double, to, double tap to wake actually it's not double tap on the screen it is just double tap on this uh, capacitive touch screen uh, I mean capacitive keys and in the lock screen you get this shortcuts here 
this is a swipe up to unlock this is the camera and the dialer you can just swipe from left right to left to get the camera open and left to right to get the dialer and the dialer has also changed when you open the dialer you can see that the gradient on the status bar also changed that's a new feature and you can also take the dialer from there and this is a new one and the new contacts yes you can swipe from here to close that and only the sound bug was there I'll show you it's strong whenever you play one song it's good but there is no much sound I would say it, yeah it's, it's good but it has I, I wish there was some more sound and this is a new music app but uh, you can't sc scroll to the middle like you must play the full uh, full song you can you can't just go into the middle and now talking about the gallery app you get the new gallery app in which you can only scroll downwards no upwards so you can scroll down and you can emote any of the images like this and yeah this is basically the same channel mode the gallery and you can go to the settings if you want to enable the root access most of you people don't know that go to the developer option and then here you can enable the root access it will be as disabled just keep it apps and adp and that's a kind of cool feature you need not do need any super user or any kind of apps as to that so if you like this video do give a thumbs up and thanks for watching uh, and the bugs in this are just the Wi-Fi. Only the Mac had this problem. That's not a big problem. And in the lock screen, when you're playing a song, you get this kind of thing. You can play, and you will get this kind of equalizer. And for the notification part, you get the notification on the home screen itself. You can double tap on the home screen to open that app and see what's the notification. So it will direct to the Flipkart app because it was a Flipkart notification and you get a new task manager. So this is a kind of stacking task manager. So you can close each app and like this and like this. Okay so if you like this video do give a thumbs up thanks for watching. This is Geeky Khan signing off.